in our eight and a half minute journey, you'll see the temperature probes, 700 degrees. Because we're in a vacuum, and because of my catalyst, we have an effective temperature of 3,500 degrees. Pero como estamos en un vacío, y por el catalítico mío, tengo el efecto de 3,500 grados Fahrenheit. Siguiendo. Vamos a ver. You'll notice that the entire reactor is on tracks. Little railroad tracks. This was in the first generation uh, the tube used to expand six to eight inches when we heated it up and then contract. So we had a lot of bent tubes. So we put we put them on tracks. Uh, now we're using a special uh, chrome alloy where there is uh, big the expansion and contraction is negligible. Ustedes ven que el reactor está en rueda. El primer generación de este eh, reactor se ampliaba 6 o 8 pulgadas cuando se calentaba y estábamos doblando los reactores. Ahora estamos usando un metal de chrome alloy muy especial y no tenemos ese problema. Sígueme. inside the reactor at this point since it's made its 50 billion year journey and that's gas and carbon. The gas is going through a cyclone where all the fine particles of carbon are being removed. Aquí, a este punto solamente hay gas y carbón. Okay. El gas está entrando a este cyclone a donde todos los partículos chiquititos se están sacando. Right. From the cyclone, it's, uh, it's coming into the uh, bubbler, so the gas is being bubbled or filtered through itself, right, where the light and the light diesel are being condensed. Here is where the carbon is extracted. Okay. Uh, can I get one of my men to give me some carbon out of this thing, please? Tommy, Ronnie, Steve, somebody? <laughs> 